So the house itself is set in a very nice wide tree-lined street. There's a sort of series of the similar cottages all the way down the street. So they're kind of like long, narrow blocks. And from the, the street, you're not really allowed to change the appearance at all. So really it was all about what could be done at the rear of the property and what could be done to make the house engage more with the outside space because one of the problems with the house previously was that it didn't really engage the outside areas. So there was the garden area at the back, but they couldn't really see it. And there was an area at the side of the house, but it was, it was not really usable. We wanted to be sympathetic to the heritage aspects of the area and, and didn't want to really play with the front, apart from colour and garden and some of those little things, but we wanted to sort of keep that there. And we wanted to put something modern and, and a little bit different on the back, but really from the front, you can't see that it's there. The starting point is actually the, the space itself and feeling what, what's going to be the best thing to do and having an innate sense of a good direction to go in and then developing that along with the client and along with um, the ideas as they evolve. Um, so colour is really important to me and uh, when we first briefed Virginia, we wanted a space that was really art friendly that you could add colour to. And this was a painting that was in the initial brief. One of the things that I remember sitting down and looking at the pieces of furniture that they wanted to keep. Mick had some beautiful Japanese furniture. That became part of the thinking of the whole house, came from that, even spatially, where their heads were at. This is the project that uh, I found in a magazine from Virginia almost 10 years ago, which I tucked away in my scrapbook and put it away for a rainy day. Uh, this is a, um, a first pass that sort of where our taste pocket sat and whilst we absolutely loved it, I think the vernacular was in the bush and this is very urban so we didn't think we'd get away with it here in downtown North Sydney. Warning, a bunch of not very relevant images to help us talk to you. <laughs> I thought it was all very serious and I just, it was because I was sending so many of them to her. When you start at a renovation, you, you don't really know what you like. <laughs> well, that's what we said to Virginia anyway. But uh, we bombarded her with photo after photo after photo and, and after a while, I think, we sort of zeroed in on um, what we liked and it was, I think, textures and, and things that were, um, inherently honest, so, you know, brick or, or timber or, or, or things that were tactile um, and, and of nature and reminded us of nature and being in nature. By the time we sort of really knew what we wanted, um, it, it what was important to us, I think, was lack of clutter um, and flexibility. We wanted it to be an art studio, possibly, or a home office, possibly, or a teen retreat, possibly. We wanted it to be able to be a house for all people and, yeah. and for all stages of our life. Um, so we've got, you know, potentially level yeah. level entry into yeah. the house. We, we could, you know, live down here. Grow old here if we want. And which Take the electric scooter up to the shops and yeah. whatever, whatever you can do. <laughs> Initially we had done a plan that was all on one level and then the idea came about, oh, why don't we explore going up as well? So we did that in, in a quite a sort of, quite a low key sort of way. There's a room upstairs looking over the living room below, but then there's a window that looks straight out to a, a sort of city distant sort of view, which is very nice. 